Hey guys, hi, it's Julie the Creative Chica. So um, I wanted to share my cancer care journals. I have quite a few plus another one that I made and I'm getting ready to donate them to the Me One Foundation. And the Me One Foundation is a really great organization in Roseville, California. They do a an awesome job of putting together a camp where cancer patients can go and their families and they take care of all the expenses, the food, the um, lodging, all the activities, everything. And um, it's so amazing. All you got to do is get yourself there and they take care of everything. They're really amazing. And I was there in 2018 and they really blessed me. So I'm going to donate these for their attendees and their families. So um, I will be making more after my last chemo. I know that I'll start feeling better within a month and I can start doing these more. Um, I will look online and if any of you guys know where there's a good uh, deal on these until uh, these are the composition books until maybe the fall where I can get them really cheap and then I'll buy a case of them or two and then that way I can continue making them and donating to the uh, to them to the um, Me One Foundation. I've made some for feminine and masculine. So I'm going to move some of the big one of uh, some of this pile out of the way and show you the first one um, that I got and I'm going to start putting, now that I bought, you know, some of those flowers from Little Birdie, I'm going to start adding more embellishments on these. The only thing is that I, I didn't want to make them too heavy or big because if somebody wants to use this as a journal or write their appointments down, then if you have too much stuff on it, it's kind of hard to do with this side. So, um, but anyway, I think I've shown some of these, but I'll show again. Um, I put a little Velcro here, a button, I made this rosette, tickets, a little thing here, and here, this is, um, some of the, it's, I think it's called duct tape, or, it's not washi, it's much heavier, so it's more like duct tape, it's really pretty, and, um, the inside of this one, I have a pocket here, I still need I think I still need to make the, they're all blank inside so they can use them any way they want. Um, I probably will use some stickers that I have though, um, or die cuts. I do have some uh, of the jeweled um, breast cancer, but people that come to this uh, event uh, don't just have breast cancer, they have all kinds of cancer. So I didn't want to just do pink, so I thought I'd leave that part out. But this is super pretty. I did this, and I, this is lace, and then I did this strip, and there's like a gold underneath it, so it comes through the little holes. So that's one of the first ones that I made. And now there's a masculine one here. This is a masculine one, and I put... Um, these little like clocks from the Dollar Tree that look like wood and I made this out of a paper bag and I looked at a uh, what do you call it um, tutorial that showed how to make this so it looks like it's made out of leather so it's really cool it's a great masculine one here's the inside this cool paper and no pocket and but I do need to make a uh, I don't think there's a no, I haven't made a um, bookmark, but I like to make a bookmark. So I will be making a bookmark for that. And then there's this one. This says Free Spirit. And there is a heart with a, with a ribbon here. And this is a navy blue. This could be from man or a woman. Well, maybe not. That's a little light pink. But So I did put this pocket that says kindness on um, stickers kindness and prayer and love and there's the back and it says notes I really like this one and then um, there's the back and there's the back so there's that 
There's this one. It's another masculine one. I really love these masculine ones. I just, even some women might even love this kind of look because, you know, some people like that steampunk look. Um, so it says it's the little things that make life big. And it has this bookmark and a ticket. And then that's the back and the inside. And there's another one. It's got birds. Charm, charming, lovely, beautiful. And if you guys remember, I don't know. I think I showed it a while back. But I had, uh, this is a napkin that I had put down. Um, I think I used Mac Media uh, to put it down so it wouldn't be shiny. It kind of just blends in. It's really pretty. And then look at the inside, guys. It's really pretty. Friends pick us up when we fall down. I love that. I've had many, many friends, especially um, my YouTube friends that have been there for me and have held me up when I had a hard time. So there's the back and then the back again. So kind of different papers that go together. A ribbon here. I love to do the ribbon. It's so pretty. And then these last two are recent. And the last two of my my books. And I was, okay, so um, this paper is a Cartabella paper. It's so beautiful. I love the texture. And then if you guys remember, I bought from Paper Studios these glitter tapes. And this little pink, there's a pretty pink. And it goes right there. So I did that. And then this says, where flowers bloom, so does hope. I love that scene. I did a, um, a doily here with uh, three um, of these, um, I forgot what they're called now, um, enamel. Yeah, enamel dots. And then three enamel dots here as well. And then these little flowers were given to me in Happy Mail. I made this flower. And that was given to me in Happy Mail. So I thought, and that's about as much, um, what do you call it, um, depth of texture that I want to do, just in case they really, they want to use it. So the inside, here's the inside. Um, this is, uh, oh, and by the way, um, I got this beautiful little key from, from uh, Jenny at Jen Jen's Creations. Thank you, Jenny. And they're going, it's going to be, it's got like this pink with the glitter. I'd love to know where she got them so that I can um, buy some. I think they look really pretty. Um, the pa Here's the paper. And um, it says UBU. And I use some pink, pink uh, tape and a little bit of uh, that doily here. And here's some more paper. This says stand tall. There's more of that paper. And I think this paper came from either All Moments or the Best of Lost and Found. I think it's All Moments. I think that's the paper pack. But this is so pretty. And then um, there's the back. More of that same paper. And I found this little uh, embellishment I had in my stuff. I'm not sure where it got it. I think it's a from a catalog of Stampin' Up! or something. And I backed it. So it's in handmade, heartfelt. And then this this little card came from the Cartabella pack. And then more of this beautiful paper. So there's that. Um, I love that. And then last but not least, I made this for my granddaughter. She loves Jack Skellington. So I made this for her. And... I haven't, oops, that's the back. There's the front. So there's the front. And I'm going to be working on more of these. Um, I probably should have put white. I can kind of see through it. But it kind of gives this book character because of what it is, like all the skeletons and stuff. So then I uh, put it down. I did use, I believe I used the Beacon 3-in-1 or... Maybe the fabric. Oh, you know, I think I used those tapes, like the double stick tape rolls. Um, and then some of this in the corners, like up here, where I wanted it to make sure it didn't come up. 
this won't get a pocket but I will make her a bookmark and then here's the back so that's that um, I'm thinking that I may be doing more things with fabric I really I love the texture I have pieces of fabric and so I'm gonna work on some cards and tags and things and I'll be using some fabric and just different kinds of things so um, yeah that's it for today I just wanted to show you that and um, to show you the um, the books, the journals, and I'll be uh, I'll be buying some more of the of these uh, books, um, these notebooks, so that I can make more and donate to them. And like I said, if you guys know of any uh, place where I can get these, like between twenty five and fifty cents, I think is what I pay during the during the fall um, that's what I would like to get uh, pay so that I can get a lot and donate them so that's it for today guys thank you for joining me uh, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and we'll talk to you soon